It's flying time. As the name of our YouTube channel implies, we are always looking for fun places to fly. Whether it's for that hundred dollar hamburger or just a great place to visit. Today we're flying out to Mineola Wisner Field in Mineola, Texas to meet with Lapita Wisner who has offered to give us a tour of the Royal Flying Circus Aviation Museum and the airfield. Mineola Wisner Field is the oldest privately owned public use airport in Texas. The airport identifier is 3F9 and Unicom is 122.8 with an elevation of 430 feet. The asphalt runway is 18 left and 36 right and is 3,203 feet by 40 feet. There is also a nice turf runway which is 18 right, 36 left, and is in good condition. Mineola Wisner Field Airport houses approximately 67 single engine aircraft, two multi engine aircraft, three light sport aircraft, one ultralight, one seaplane, and one sailplane. A self service avgas fuel pump is available for the convenience of pilots. There are several flight instructors who are based at the airport. The airport is also home to the Royal Flying Circus Aviation Museum, which is open to the public and frequently offers presentations on the history of the airport. Famous aviators who have visited Wisner Field include Wiley Post, Slats Rogers, Tommy Grace, and Faye Lucille Cox. Famous visitors to Wisner Field have included Senators Phil Graham, K. Bailey Hutchison, and then Senator, later President, Lyndon Baines Johnson. Starting with a small grass field and one Curtis JN4C, Wisner Field now has a paved and lighted runway and is proud to be the home base for over 70 aircraft. They offer 24 hour self service 100 low lead avgas and provide access to an AP, flight instructor, and aircraft rental services. They also have low cost hangar rental rates for all aircraft types, business, personal, antiques, warbirds, home builds, ultralights, and helicopters. The minute we stepped out of the airplane, we felt as if we had traveled back into the past. This terminal building was built in the 1940s. Even the navigation light beacon tower was constructed during that time. The inner walls were filled with photos and documents from a long history of aviators and their airplanes. There is also a unique museum at the airport. The Royal Flying Circus Aviation Museum includes aircraft, automobiles, and artifacts associated with the golden age of aviation, and with the daring barnstormers such as Henry and Bryce Wisner, who formed the original Royal Flying Circus in 1926. From a World War I Curtis Jenny to a World War II Stearman biplane, they showcased the lives of colorful civilian and military flyers. In 1989, the Texas Historical Commission, at the request of the Wood County Historical Commission, recognized the airport with a marker placed at the entrance of the airport property. In 2001, the Royal Flying Circus Aviation Museum was constructed at this airport. The museum showcases the local rich aviation history. One of Henry's Jenny aircraft that he piloted during the barnstorming days serves as the centerpiece of the museum. Other aircraft used at the airport during its long history are also on exhibit at the museum. 
Guided tours are open by appointment only. You can contact them to arrange your own guided tour. Contact information is available in the comment section of this video. We hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to our channel and also check out our website for fun places to fly and aviation events.